Hello friends! In this video I will test the device which is tone generator which according to the specifications can generate frequencies from 1 Hz up to 1 MHz and uh, the waveform is triangle, sinusoidal and also it has a separate output of square waveform. For testing of this device I will use multimeter and oscilloscope ET201 and another oscilloscope. This test, this video will be 3 in 1 because we will see the possibilities of this small function generator and also we will test DSO138 and ET201. I have connected everything to the generator. In case we increase the amplitude clockwise it somehow decreases, but it is not my fault. Also I have seen some other reviews and the situation is the same. So let's turn on everything and check. This is 1 to 10 Hz and also we can notice the oscillations here. I increase the amplitude. We can see here 0.96. Let's increase. It's 1 Hz. Here for this device it's too difficult. It tries to show something but as I have already noticed and shown in my previous reviews this device is really very very slow. Now we have 2 Hz and we can see that the waveform is not really sinusoidal. We see the charging of the capacitor and discharging 20 Hz. Despite the inscription 1 up to 10 Hz now the maximum frequency is 20 Hz. So this device really needs plenty of time in order to define the waveform. Let's increase the frequency. It's 15 Hz. Here we have 17 frequencies. 89. This is auto. Also we can say that this waveform is sinusoidal. 194 and here 194. But also we should press auto. It's okay. It turned out that the battery of the oscilloscope is discharged. I have replaced it and changed the position from 3 kilohertz up to 65 kilohertz because this position from 100 to 3 kilohertz is not very interesting. Now I would like to draw your attention to the fact that in case we increase the amplitude we have here a cut. So it is not a true sinusoidal signal. I also increase this is voltage overload. It's also not sinusoidal. And now it's more or less okay. So let's increase the frequency. 3 kilohertz signal. 3.4, 3.4. It's 4 kilohertz. It's 5 kilohertz. It is 6 kilohertz. 7, 8, 9. Something like sinusoidal signal. And let it be 10. You see, this is something like sinusoidal, but it's really not good. 12 kilohertz, the signal is really stable, but it's not really sinusoidal waveform. 15, 19, it's nothing for the device which should measure from 2 kilohertz up to 200 kilohertz. Auto also doesn't help. I would like to draw your attention if you have not seen yet my previous videos regarding this device that in case we have frequency 
less than 20 kilohertz, for example 16 kilohertz, this device can define it. 16, this is 19, also here should be 19 and 6 and as soon as we increase it to 20 here we have 20 kilohertz here we have overload but anyway it cannot show normally the sine wave even at the frequency of for example 15 kilohertz and in case we increase the frequency a bit more it starts dancing nevertheless let's increase this is 25 kilohertz signal 35 45 55 61 76 80 3 85 86 but according to the inscription it should be 65 kilohertz also i would like to draw your attention to the very interesting fact we speak only about cons regarding this device ET201 but also I would like to note one pro in case of frequency meter Hertz and in case of the range from 3 kilohertz up to 65 kilohertz this frequency meter is really very very good also we must note that the signal should be not less than 2 volts according to the specifications otherwise it will not measure it for example the signal from a headphone jack cannot be recognized in this position let's increase the frequency 5 and 26 5 and 27 6 and 70 475 6 and 76 15 and 25 15 and 31 25 and 69 yes it's okay 32 and 86 87 33 not bad 52 and 8 53 and 1 66 67 66 and 5 71 72 73 72 <laughs> okay 83 82 85 83 and 6 uh, this is the last frequency 86 87 86 86 and 3 it's really okay as to position 65 kilohertz to 1 megahertz here we have 54 and 9 here we have 55 let's increase the frequency 60 60 and 9 75 and 6 70 76 not bad 99 or 100 99 kilohertz 110 111 110 and 3 135 134 and 2 not bad 170 it's okay 198 98 99 199 200 so 200 for this device is overload let's decrease a bit I would like to get 200 yes 200 was possible but not more so the maximum frequency for this frequency meter is 200 kilohertz but in case we switch it to the oscilloscope mode naturally we will have nothing overload here even no overload because of unrecognizable signal let's decrease the frequency 80 hertz instead of 56 kilohertz 
Also, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that in case of high amplitude, not only this part becomes flat, but also uh, this one becomes ugly. Let's increase. So you see the flat one here, and also here we have distortion of the signal. So it's flat, it's flat, and now it's sharp. It's really distorted, overloaded signal. That's why do not increase the signal very much when testing amplifiers and other devices. For example, well, this will be enough. Voltage peak to peak 4.5 or even even 4 volts. It's enough. For uh, the triangle waveform we should switch this position, but you see this is something like charging and discharging capacitor and at very low frequency this is not triangle. You see it's not triangle. 1 and 90 hertz, 5 kilohertz, 6 kilohertz, 7 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz, 9 and 10. Dancing sinusoidal signal here instead of ideal triangle 15, 16, 50, 60 the signal isn't ideal but it looks like triangle and also let's check the square waveform so it should be square waveform but it is not so 2 Hz 3 Hz so axis not hammers, not screwdrivers, but axes. Something like square waveforms, but square is only this section, but not this. It's very strange, but for this device the waveform is really square. It's really very, very strange. The only explanation of this may be the resolution of this screen. 10 Hz, 12 17, 24. So when we need to measure a signal and it's not square waveform here, it's square waveform. And in case of square waveform or maybe triangle waveform or sine waveform, here we have dancing signals. We have increased the frequency. It's 119. It's more or less square waveform. Let's check here. It's okay. 199, 200 hertz, it's more or less square. Let's change the range. We, here we have problems on this place. It's okay, but I don't like this one. Let's check. It's more or less square. 13 kilohertz, 17 kilohertz, 23 kilohertz, 45, 83. And you can see it's fork. Not square waveform, it's simply fork. Here Naturally we have something dancing, but I don't know what it is. So from everything mentioned above, I can conclude that for low frequencies this tone generator or function generator is okay. Also for low frequencies from, for example, 5 Hz to 50 kHz or even 100 kilohertz this device is okay and as to the multimeter and oscilloscope 2-in-1 the multimeter is a really good device including frequency meter and 
As to the oscilloscope mode, oscilloscope mode can work pretty well up to the frequency 5 kHz, 6 kHz and in case of the sine wave even up to 10 kHz, not more. Thank you very much, wish you good luck, bye.